Hi friends, this is Nikash here. So today I'm back with a different problem. The problem name is maximum distance to closest person. So this is one of the important questions asked in the Google and Facebook interviews. So let's see what the problem statement is. So you have been given an array where all the integers are either 0 or 1. So 1, one means a person is already sitting in that seat and 0 means it's an empty seat. So you need to find a place where a person can sit so that he is at a maximum distance from the closest person. So for example, in this case, the, uh, the seat where the person would be willing to sit is 2, index 2, because if he sits here, the distance from the closest person on the right is 2, as well as on the left is 2. So that's the maximum distance we can obtain. So let's see how we can get this, right? So uh, le let's go over the 5 steps now. So first step is we need to find the previous one. For example, if you are I, whenever you are iterating to the seat array, and you need to basically check if seat of i, basically in this case seats of 0 is equal to 1 or not. If it is equal, then our previous one is this one. So in this case, whenever we start with i is equal to 0, so i is equal to 0, in this case, if previous is, we need to check if this element is 1. In this case it is, so we update our previous as 0. Next, we need to find what is the future one. So in this case, we'll start a loop and we need to figure out how to get to the future one. So we have two conditions. One is future should be less than size and seats of future should be equal to zero. So in that case, we keep incrementing our future or if future is less than i, even in that case, we keep incrementing our future, okay? So in this case, where i is equal to zero, we go ahead and check if zero is less than or equal to size. It is, but seats of zero is not equal to zero. So we don't increment our future, but we go ahead and see if future is less than i. So i is zero and future is zero. So it's not, so our future will still remain zero. Then we need to update two more variables. One is left and other is right. So left is nothing but pointing to the previous one and right is the distance to the next one. So left and right are the distances. So let's imagine we are at index one. So i is equal to one. In this case, how do we find the distance between the previous one? So it will be i minus previous. So, and for the right distance, let's say our future is at somewhere at three. So how do you find this distance? It's future minus i. So for example, this is i, this is future, and this is previous. So the left would be i minus previous, and right would be future minus i, okay? So we, we're gonna use these formulas to figure out left and right values. So in this case, we first check if previous is equal to minus one, which was the initiali initialization for us. So in this case, previous is not equal to minus one, so we come to the else condition and update our left. Left is equal to i minus previous. So our i was zero, minus previous is 0, so in this case our left would be 0. We, and we go to the next condition, so we check if future is equal to size. So in this case our size is 7, but future is 0, so we don't satisfy the if condition, so we go to the else and figure out right. Right is equal to future minus i, future is 0, future minus i is 0, minus 0 is 0. Okay. So answer would be, answer is nothing but maximum of answer, comma minimum of left or right. So in this case answer is 0. So what does this mean is, whenever you are at index 0, you don't have a place to sit basically. That's the reason our answer is 0. Let's move forward. So when i is equal to 1, first we go ahead and check if we have a previous one, right? So in this case, seats of i is not equal to 1, so we don't update our previous, still our previous is 0. Next we go ahead, go ahead and figure out the future value. So future is 0, which is less than size, yes, and seats of future is equal to 0. Yes, remember this is a while loop. So in this case, yes, so future becomes one. We increment that to one. Okay. Let, now let's update the future value. In this case, future is zero, right? So we go ahead and check if future is less than size. Yes, it is. And if seats of future is equal to zero. So this condition is not, not satisfied, but we have the second condition. We need to check if future is less than i. Yes, it is. So we increment our future. So in this case, future will be 0 to 1, okay? Now, as, it, as this is a while loop, we still continue looking for the further future 1. So in this case, seats of 1, it is equal to 0, so we increment future to 2. So again, seats of 2 is still 0, so we increment this to 3. Then, seats of 3 is still 0, so we increment this to 4, right? So now, when you compare, 
4 is less than size but seeds of future is not equal to 0. So this condition is not satisfied. When we check for the second condition, even this condition is not satisfied. So, so now we know our future is 4. So basically if you see the array, right, the previous is, if you, you are iterating at index 1, the previous one is at index 0, which is the previous value and the future is at 4. So that's our 4. Okay. Moving forward, now let's figure out the, what are the values of left and right. So previous is not equal to minus 1. So we go to the else condition and we left is equal to i minus previous. So in this case, i is 1 minus previous is 0. So our left will be 1. Now let's see what's the right value. So future is not equal to size. So we go to the else condition. So right is equal to future minus i. Future is 4 minus i is 1. So our future is 3. Okay. Okay, now let's figure out what's the answer. Answer is 0, comma, minimum of left and right. Left is 1 and right is 3. So minimum is 1. So in this case, the maximum is 0. Sorry, 1. So our answer will be 1. So let's move forward, right? So i is again incremented to 2 now. And previous is still 1. And we'll go ahead and figure out the future value. Future value will still remain the same, right? In this case, because future is still 1. So previous will be 0, future will be 4. Now let's figure out what's the left value. Left value is previous is not equal to minus 1. So we go ahead and check if left is equal to, and we assign left is equal to i minus previous. i is 2, minus previous is 0. So this becomes 2. So if you are here, the previous is at, at a distance of 2. And what's the right value? Right value is future is still 4, minus i is 2. So this becomes 2. So answer is, 0, sorry, answer was 1 previously and minimum of this is 2. So what's the maximum of this? 2. So moving forward, again when i is equal to 3, we check the previous one is still here and future is here. We just go ahead and update the left and right. Left is i minus previous, i is 3, minus previous is 0, so it becomes 3. This is 0, this is 4 and this is 3. Now we need to update our right. Right is equal to future minus i. Future is 4 minus i is 3. This becomes 1. So in this case, minimum of left and right, minimum of 3 comma 1 is 1. And answer is 2. So maximum is still 2. So if, if you go forward, the distance should be still decreasing. So our answer is basically 2. And that's what our required answer is. So basically this contains again simple five steps. You need to take a previous variable, a future, left, right and answer. So previous is the one which is pointing to the previous one from the index where you are. And future is the one which is pointing to the future one from the index where you are. Left and right are the distances towards your left one and the right one. And answer is the one which will hold the actual value. So I will go ahead and write the code for this. Uh, this is one of the important questions as I said before for Google interviews. Do let me know if you have any input or concerns regarding this solution or if you want me to solve any particular question and keep learning every day. Thank you.